How are you getting on? Now, um, organ stuff. Um, emulating B3 organ with the, the Leslie. Um, this is something I first heard Danny Gatton do. Surprise, surprise. Um, and guys like Charlie Hunter and, 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 and players like that. Um, and listening to, like, you know, Booker T and the MGs and just organ players and stuff like that. And uh, it was in the, uh, the Gatton Telemaster video. I, that was like a watershed for me, obviously. Um, the B3 stuff I like using when... Uh, if you're in... If you're playing and you've got two or three guitar players playing, which happens from time to time, um, and everyone is playing the same either bar chord or... Dun, 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 dun. That kind of gets mushy, and, and and sometimes you know you want a variety in your sound, and and even just like as an exercise for um, spicing up your rhythm guitar playing, um, which I love rhythm guitar, of course. Um, so it's kind of cool to to take some of these organ ideas, um, like if you're doing like a blues, like. <laughs> You know, um, basically, and all that is, it's, um, I'm, I'm, I've got uh, my neck and rhythm pickup in the middle position, and uh, my tone control rolled off, the way Gatton did it, of course. Um, and I'm using a TC Electronic Shaker vibrato pedal, which I just discovered back in uh, June or July or something. I found it, and I, I really, really dig it. Um, so, if you're normally playing like a blues or a shuffle or something like that, and... <laughs> But if you want, if you got like two or three guys doing that, that's going to sound like shit. <laughs> Unless everyone's really, really, really careful. Um, so a way to kind of get your own kind of slice of the sonic pie, if there isn't a keyboard player, like if Nick Lapp has a gig and can't come play with us, um, it's kind of cool to be able to hit your vibrato pedal and, uh, <coughs> pardon me, um, and comp like an organ player and phrase like an organ player would and, and just fill in those little little spots. So in so that basically that same thing with this organ tone would be find little holes. You don't have to play like big full chords or anything, like even like just little three note. Ah, you know, that kind of shit. Um, so let's take, um, do some kind of easy examples of this stuff. So if we're in A, for example, and everyone's kind of comping on an A, uh, they go one, four, five, and A. Um, you can, you know, you can do the standard. That sounds really good. And all that is, is your typical... bar chord and you're hammering on the 6th fret on the G string, playing uh, on the 7th uh, the fret on the uh, D, G, and B strings, and we've done all done that a million times, move it up to the 4th, go to the 2, like that 7th uh, and ninth chord on the F, down to the E, and then a cool turnaround out of that. So, which sounds great as it is, but I mean, if you do the organ thing, you know, it kind of gives it a, fills up the sound a bit and gives it a different kind of flavor. some 
seventh chords and things like that. And just if you think like a different instrument in a way, um, it can kind of add things to your playing that you might no not normally come with, with just like strumming or something like that. Um, you know, the, the, a lot of this is going to be played. Uh, some some of this is very very staccato. Some of this is very very legato and sustained. Um, and just use your own taste for that and how you, how your right hand wants to phrase that kind of stuff. You gotta make a face too when you do that. So let's do a, we'll uh, do a quick turnaround for the end of this first segment so you can kind of have something to kind of piece it together. So if you put in the turnaround like uh, this one, that a lot of it you know, we use for blues or, or, or whatever, um, basically all that is is uh, you're, you're playing a pedal tone on that A on the high E string. You're skipping, you're playing the, the fifth fret on the B string and the fifth fret on the D string. You're skipping the G string all together. Now, keeping that pedal tone on your pinky, you're going to move everything else down, that other double stop, down a fret to the fourth fret while holding on your pinky on that uh, A note on the high E string. Down to the third fret and down to the A. Uh, so we but keeping that pedal tone going. So when you put your vibrato on, you set up for your, like your organy kind of tone, right? So back to the seventh, which is, well, in this case will be an E seven. So you can. Okay. So there's like a cool little. Um, uh, rhythm pattern uh, for you it's getting kind of getting your feet wet with this sort of stuff. Um, so I'll uh, we'll see how this turns out. And I'll post it hopefully, and um, then we can move on and, and do some more like things with uh, more kind of movement like a like a organ player would. Anyway, good luck with that. And oh, I should mention too. Now I'm using a vibrato pedal. Uh, tremolo pedals work really well too. Um, you know, if you set it for kind of a, a faster yeah, you know, it's it's taste really. It's how much, it's how much peanut butter you like on your toast. It's a, it's it's a personal thing, right? Kind of like how fast you want that vibrato or the the tremolo or vibrato set. Like when I, when I'm doing it, it's kind of a medium sort of thing. Um, you can have slower or faster depending on, on on what you're doing and what kind of sound you're going for, of course. Um, anyway, so give that a shot and. Uh, Part two, we'll kind of get into uh, some more, you know, kind of busier comping, I suppose. All right, cheers.